For all your hard-hitting, high-octane, extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now, here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Peg, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news. They finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be the exciting Coliseum for Sports. I like it. I hate it. We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station at 555 21 We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early this morning. In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. All other radio programs have been cancelled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Sorry, sir, can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute, Dad? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Then what are you doing here? I missed you. I guess I just wanted to come check in. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? Really? Are you sure? Because I could... No, that's okay. I think I got it. Even the times when you... Yeah, those parts too. Oh, okay. You're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. We are so alike in so many ways. So long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Attention! Oh, God. Is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. Thank God. I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. You can get back in your chair now. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? How will I figure out who to deny and who to jail? Let's use a real-life example. Someone you've seen already. This criminal is best known for burning down orphanages full of sleeping children. What do you do? Good work, soldier. Just denying her would not protect the surrounding villages. And what's to stop her from going to the next gate and getting lucky with a guard like Randy? That's all I have to say about that. Any further questions? Well, I've got you. Tell me a bit more about yourself. 
Well, I grew up a military brat. Uh, my father was a general for the princess's grandfather, King Artemis. It, wait, why am I telling you this? You received your briefing, now do your duty. And just when I thought we were bonding. Hello there, my name is Buttface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the sprawl. I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Sorry. Did you say your name was... Budface? Yes. Yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill it characters. I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Hart. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. I'm sure you can turn things around. All it takes is a little hard work. Maybe a little too much hard work. I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. Please take it. No one would buy it from me anyway. Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let goblins in today, so I'm gonna have to throw you in jail. Is the jail on the other side of this gate? Yes. Then technically you are letting me inside. No, I'm technically... Stop poking holes in the logic. Are you seriously throwing me in jail? Hasta la vista, buttface. Magic lovers of the sprawl, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician, Alakazoo, Alakazee! And I appear! Thank you, thank you! Wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh wait, there's one! Excuse me, are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. Then I'm in the right spot! Can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. So that's where Mr. Fluffy Bunny went. Guess I won't be getting the deposit back after all. 
There's a pair of glasses in your boot. My boot? My glasses! You helped me find them! Thank you, thank you, thank you, little girl! Tell you what, on your next birthday, I'll perform for free! That's... don't worry about it. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me! And now that I have my glasses, I should be able to find my way to the party no problem! Alakazoo! Alakazee! My magic career is saved! I, I, I would like to enter the sprawl, please. And you are? Magnus the Magnificent, renowned member of the Magies Guild. Surely you have heard of me. What business do you have in town today, Magnus? At the Great Library, there is an incantation in Sir, uh... Bartholomew Inglebrook. Bartholomew Inglebrook's third treatise on the... Um... Lunar Implications. Lunar Implications for plant magic that becomes legible but twice a year. I must see it with my own eyes. What the hell was that? What was what? You really struggled to get that out. I'm not convinced you know what you're talking about. Well, you don't sound like you know what you're talking about either. Is there any way we could move this along? My legs are very sore from standing here. Your legs are sore? Yes, my legs. My regular non-talking legs. Okay, fellas, you can give it up. I'm sure I don't know what you're referring to. Oh, belt up. She knows. You got us. We're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. What does that mean? The princess goes missing and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? What's that about? Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna get punished for letting two rebel goblins in on no goblin day. It's straight to jail for you. Oh no, please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a human world. We're sorry, we're sorry. Oh, sh we're boned. Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know, but it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Call this particular blend Peace Blossom, bringing joy and mirth wherever she goes. Medicinal, of course. I understand completely. You have a job to do when you're doing it. 
I hope you let that peace blossom spread and blow its beautiful bounty across the sprawl. I'm just gonna put it in this contraband box here. Yeah, man, that's cool too. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. Right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Good. Any other week the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Summoned? Lilith, guardian of the southern gate, step forward into the light. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Lil, you have been chosen. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So You Think You Can Save a Princess! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neo War Killer. Adventure number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands. And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsin! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite! Now, Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. Hmm, Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? Where do you come from? 
And who would you like? I was born on the battlefield with a sword in both hands. Slaughtered 12 enemies that day. My mother was so proud. I was disappointed. If I had really applied myself, I think I could have killed at least two more. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Born in shadows, deep in the caves below the mining city of Mosh on the outskirts of Petrard. I grew up in darkness. In fact, the first time I saw daylight was last Thursday. I don't need to tell you what a surprise that was. Who knew colors were so... And your second question is... Encounter an enemy party of magic users. One of them. And who's that one for? Level three. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Please, I reached level three in the tutorial. I could conjure an army of sparrows or moles or whatever small creature best suited my purpose. Wouldn't it be better to conjure larger animals? Maybe something more ferocious. More ferocious than a mole? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not licensed to conjure anything bigger than a bread box, but, but they really are scary. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Magic users, they fill me with rage. And in that berserking rage, I can shrug off any kind of missile they may throw my way. I rip out the throat of the first, so the coward cannot warn their coward friends. Before the rest know what has hit them, I have. I pile the bodies of the dead fools high in the air and burn them as a warning to all others who would dare get in my way. What's a guy gotta do to get picked for a question around here? I got some- Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please, wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. Uh-oh, looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Neil, uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. Neil, what's your favorite animal? Neil, look at this little fella. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. Phew! I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. <sighs> Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? I'm confused and tired, and I have to pee. Can we just get this over with already? Uh-oh, you know what that means! I have no idea what that means! This is so stupid! You're stupid! That sound means it's time for the lightning round! Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round! Alright, Perry, are you ready for the lightning round? I am! Oh, too bad. Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as we'd hoped. <laughs> oh my god! That wasn't real, right? Uh-oh, you know what that sound means! Oh, God, not again. My conscience can't take much more of this. That sound means we are out of time. All right, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona?
ladies and gentlemen, humans and other ones, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Neil Warkiller, the Warrior! This pleases me. I am pleased. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody! And then, I had to choose who the heck was gonna rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here. I know. We met. At the gate? Whoa. I completely forgot. Gotta go easy on the Peace Blossom. Anywho, what did you want to talk about? What do you know about King Oz? After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Three in particular, a young headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the Guard Corps, and the court jester. Although I don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. These three have been battling for control of the sprawl for years now. But what about the princess? She's next in line. True, but at the time she was just a kid. Now she's grown, but I fear that these outside forces are using her as a pawn. Anything else you want to know about? This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Can't talk, Lil. Pretending to wipe the counter while I eavesdrop on the prince and the praetor over there. Can't talk. Pretending to cook while I spy on that hunk a hunk a fine piece of wizard over there. No, Lil. No, everything is not okay, Beverly. My dear true love, Princess Desdemona- Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium? You phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same she. What about her, Bev? When I'd heard she'd vanished, I tried to get on So You Think You Can Save a Princess, but none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. Tell me what to do, Lil. Should I return to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? Go back to work! <sighs> you may be right. I don't have that many more vacation days. Listen, Bev, it's getting late. I'm gonna go. I understand. Farewell, Beverly. Pathetic, weak coward! You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. I would like to commend you on your choice of adventurer. The princess is as good as rescued. <laughs> on behalf of the Kingdom of Petrad, I vehemently disagree. You had the chance to send a cunning rogue, but instead you chose a big, dumb warrior. She made the right choice. The Marvog Empire supports her. The Kingdom of Petrad would grudgingly accept an apology for your actions. That big dumb warrior is the right person for the job. 
My concern is the safe return of Princess Desdemona. Not pleasing you. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, why, I never. <laughs> I won't forget this. What he said. been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look! Can't talk. Pretending to can't talk, Lil. I don't really have any. I think I've done everything I. 